how to play lingerie football. If you don't mind passing the pigskin in your underwear and in front of large crowds, you might have what it takes for lingerie football. You will need athleticism, lingerie, a helmet, shoulder, knee, and elbow pads, rules of the game, and a sense of fair play. Optional, double-sided tape. Step 1. Know how to play football. Though the rules for lingerie football are a bit different, the basic concept is the same. Step 2. Be in great shape, and not just because you're going to be half naked when you play. Lingerie football is a full contact sport, so you'd better be prepared to tackle and be tackled. Step 3. Own a few sexy get-ups. The lingerie football team uniform consists of a bra, panties, a garter belt, plus shoulder, knee, and elbow pads, and a helmet. The judicious use of double-sided tape can help prevent wardrobe malfunctions. Step 4. Try out for one of the teams that make up the LFL. There are 20 women on a team, with 14 on the active roster, and 7 from each team on the field. The season is 20 weeks long. Each game has two 17-minute halves and a 15-minute halftime. Check the league's website for tryout dates. Step 5. Play by the rules. The LFL plays on a 50-yard field, 30 yards wide, with 8-yard end zones. A touchdown is worth six points. A conversion run or pass from the two-yard line is one point, and from the three-yard line, it's two points, as is a safety. There's no punting and no field goals. Step six, play fair. Pulling off an opposing player's clothes is discouraged by the coaches, though prayed for by the fans. Did you know? Lingerie football began in 2004 as a one-game television event to compete with the Super Bowl halftime show.